For today's video, we're exploring five military concept vehicles. Number five, Humvee with airless tire. Military vehicles are required to traverse some of the most difficult terrains imaginable, so it's unfortunate that their weakest point tends to be the tires. If they deflate for any reason, the weaponry, surveillance hardware, and of course the occupants are at severe risk. Various forms of alternate tire have been proposed and designed, but they all suffer from needing air to inflate them. A recent design, though, has changed all of this. Engineering firms are now developing a range of airless tire that allow vehicles like a Humvee to travel up to speeds of 25 miles per hour while being bulletproof, able to withstand impacts from IEDs and explosions, and able to navigate harsh conditions. They don't sacrifice vehicular performance either, with tests showing that the Humvees that are fitted with them can tow 1,000 gallons of water or three pallets of ammo and supplies up a steep incline. The technology is called NPT, which means non-pneumatic tire, and is made from using polymeric web that uses a honeycomb structure to maintain rigidity while also being flexible. They can't be punctured, and they significantly increase the chances of troops being able to evade dangerous situations, so it will likely become commonplace in the near future. Number 4. CV-9120 T-Ghost The CV-9120T is a Swedish-designed medium tank that's based on the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle hull. It features a newly designed 120mm compact tank gun, but what makes this truly special is the use of state-of-the-art camouflage technology that makes it completely invisible to enemy thermal imaging systems, which has led it to being nicknamed the Ghost. The camouflage system, called Adaptive, was developed by BAE Systems over a number of years and uses a series of honeycomb modules across the surface of the vehicle that are made from elements that can be cooled or heated very quickly and allows for different patterns to be created. This allows it to blend into the background and replicate the conditions surrounding it. Further design choices have been made to reduce the tank's appearance on radar, and it's able to project messages onto its side to signal to friendly forces where it is. With a cloak of invisibility and the latest weaponry, tanks like this are going to become even more common and will be the backbone of the battlegrounds of the future. Number 3. Joint Light Tactical Vehicle the most common type of vehicle used by the U.S. military is a light truck. The Army, for example, has more than 100,000 of them, most of which are Humvees. They're not entirely suitable for warfare in places like Iraq, though, so new designs are being looked at that could be more effective. One of the lead runners is the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. When battles take place where the military planners can't predict where the enemy will be or what they will do, Troops need a fast-moving, diverse, protective, and resilient option to be able to respond quickly. Made by Oshkosh Corporation, the Army has placed an order for 49,000 of these, with tests having shown them to be highly reliable and adaptable. They can be fitted with a variety of weapons, such as a 50 caliber machine gun or surveillance equipment, and are heavily armored to protect against IEDs. The plating on the underside, for example, is designed to channel blasts away from the vehicle, and the fuel tanks are outside of the cabin and further shielded. They come with automatic fire suppression systems inside the cabin and multiple routes for escape in case the crew need to immediately get out. JLTVs will be the next generation of military transport vehicle and will help troops be far more effective. Number 2. Multiple Kill Vehicle As weaponry becomes more advanced, the need for effective countermeasures is increasing. One of the greatest threats that are difficult to combat are missile strikes, but a new generation of defenses are being developed, with the Multiple Kill Vehicle, or MKV, leading the way. Kill vehicles protect from missile attacks by destroying them before they reach their target. All of the U.S. military's missile defense systems use the force of impact to knock them out of the sky, which was a technique pioneered by Lockheed Martin. The problem, though, is that these are only capable of neutralizing one so an attack by multiple missiles is more difficult to incapacitate. The MKV aims to overcome this problem by using small, lightweight kill vehicles that are contained and then launched from one booster. In theory, they can solve many of the weaknesses of current systems. When an enemy launch is detected, an interceptor that's equipped with the MKV will track it down, with the target's position information being uplinked from a ground station. 
Once it leaves the Earth's atmosphere, it locks on to all threat objects, including enemy missiles and countermeasures designed to protect them, and then releases its own kill vehicles to destroy these targets. An MKV can contain as many as 20 small kill vehicles, and each is guided to impact the threat. The payload is being designed to be compatible with defense systems that are already in place and offers more effective countermeasures than are currently available by allowing for multiple threats to be disabled from one booster rocket. The MKV system has a carrier vehicle with onboard sensors and as many kill vehicles that weigh 10 pounds each as are needed. The use of modular designs means that it can be configured to prepare against a variety of operational scenarios and reduces the current reliance on pre-launch intelligence gathered from enemies to ensure full protection. Number 1. Arcus Scarabee While vehicles come in all shapes and designs, there's one feature that usually stays common across them all. They drive forwards and backward. But what if you get caught in a tight spot or need to carefully maneuver across the battlefield? Well, that's where the Arquis Scarabee comes in. It's a light-armored personnel carrier that's been designed by the military vehicle division of Volvo and has been designed for use by the French Army. While the Scarabee is an all-wheel drive transport vehicle, like most others used for military purposes, it has a trick up its sleeve. Its rear wheels can be turned independently of the front wheels, and this gives it an incredible range of movement. It can be turned tightly in alleyways, sidestep obstacles in its path without losing momentum, and it's much lighter than similar vehicles, so it's much faster. It can reach a top speed of 75 miles per hour, which equates to around 60 brake horsepower per ton of weight, nearly three times that of a Humvee. This means that the Scarabee can easily traverse battlefields and, crucially, keeps those inside it as safe as possible. It has a diesel engine and an electric motor, and the battery packs are used as an extra layer of defense on the underside against IEDs. The sliding doors can only be opened from the inside or from the outside with a remote, which further protects the occupants from external dangers. The vehicle's roof has been designed to be fitted with a variety of adaptations, such as a radar unit or a missile launcher, and there's even a trailer which can be controlled independently and is able to carry up to four tons of supplies. The Arquis Scarabee can potentially provide French troops with heightened capabilities on the battlefields and help them become more effective while, at the same time, being much safer. Honorable Mentions Black Knight Armored Robotic Combat Vehicle The Black Knight Armored Robotic Combat Vehicle was designed by BAE Systems and incorporates the latest robotic technologies. It's currently in testing by the U.S. Army with the intent of being used for missions where sending manned missions are simply too difficult. Essentially, this is a remote-controlled armored vehicle that can be operated from within an M2 Bradley infantry vehicle or from a portable device. The pilot can see video feeds on the controls, which show the turret and gun position and have an advanced target acquisition capability. The Black Knight can also steer itself and comes with a suite of high-sensitivity cameras laser radar, thermal imaging cameras, and GPS. It can automatically detect obstacles in its way and chart a route around them without the need for human assistance. Its maximum speed allows it to keep in convoy with the main battle tanks, and it's been designed so it can be easily airlifted by a C-130 transport aircraft. By reducing the need for people to be in vehicles that are engaged in particularly dangerous missions, Vehicles like the Black Knight will be able to significantly reduce the chances of battlefield casualties. The Skyrunner While, at first, the Skyrunner seems like a radical design that's more at home on a movie set, trials have convinced the military to look at whether it could be one of the next vehicles brought into service. It's an all-terrain vehicle that's built from carbon fiber and steel and can reach top speeds of up to 60 miles per hour across uneven terrain. Where the Skyrunner really comes into its own is when it releases its parachute and can then lift into the air, reach an altitude of up to 10,000 feet, and reach air speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. The design has recently been approved to fly by the FAA, and though it's currently marketed as the ultimate sightseeing recreational aircraft, there are clear military uses that it could be adapted for. Of particular interest is how relatively cheap it is to run. It only costs $43 per hour to fly, which is much cheaper than a helicopter, 
and the way it can be used to reach locations by both ground and air makes it a potentially valuable way to rescue soldiers from difficult places. Furthermore, the Skyrunner only requires about 12 hours of training to use, which means far more soldiers can learn how to pilot them than are able to learn any current alternatives. I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.